What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and set up your Chromecast Ultra. Uh, the reason that we're doing this is maybe you just got a Stadia, maybe you just got a Chromecast Ultra for Christmas, and uh, you haven't been able to set it up yet. You can go ahead and cast pretty much anything to any TV that your Chromecast Ultra is hooked up to. And that includes, once again, the Stadia, uh, your YouTube videos, music, movies, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, whatever it is that you guys pretty much want to cast, you can go ahead and cast it to your TV. So before we get started, I just wanted to go over a quick overview of what the Chromecast actually comes with and show you the uh, plugs and buttons and lights of the thing. So uh, I got this uh, 3D video thing that you guys are seeing here from uh, Home 3D, which is actually a pretty useful site because that's exactly what I needed to show you guys. And I don't have the best lighting in this apartment. So um, as you guys can see, the Chromecast Ultra is pretty basic. It does come with a uh, plug that you can go ahead and plug into the wall along with that plug, uh, which you guys don't see here. You can actually go ahead and plug in an ethernet cable so that you can get the best possible connection to your Chromecast Ultra. But aside from that, we've got everything that we need right here. It's basically a really nice little puck and it has an HDMI cable that you go ahead and plug into the back of your TV. This port right here, you can go ahead and plug into your power supply, which once again will give you a direct connection to your internet if you're using an ethernet cable. And then here on the side, we have a light indicator and the reset button. Now I've gone ahead and reset mine and uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and set up today. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, just jump straight into the video. All right, you guys, so uh, I hope that this works because I'm, I'm actually doing this a really weird way. I'm recording with four different things and to be completely honest with you guys, I am not sure if this is going to come out the right way. If it doesn't, I'll be sure to go ahead and capture it. But you guys can see my phone on screen as well as uh, what we're seeing whenever we have the initial setup for the Chromecast Ultra. Now I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible, but it does say get the app, download, and open the Google Home app on your phone. So that's the one other thing that you need. You should have already connected your Chromecast Ultra to the wall and to your TV. And then after that, you need to download the Google Home app. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up here, which is right here. And we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Now, before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know, I am going to obviously block out some of my personal information. You guys don't need to know that. But with that said, uh, we can go ahead and set up our device. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and set up a brand new home. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a home here. And I don't know if you guys saw that, I clicked the wrong thing down here. It says set up one device here. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna have to choose a home. So since we don't have any homes, this is the first time that we're setting up a home. We're gonna go ahead and click on the plus button and hit next. Now after that, you can go ahead and put a nickname for your home as well as your address. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys my address, but we're gonna go ahead and set up a nickname and I'm going to name it Nobles Home. Very simple, right? Uh, you can go ahead and do your address. Like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that, but it says the address will be used for things like directions. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next and I'm going to continue without an address. You can go ahead and put yours on. It will make your experience a little bit better if you're trying to do things like find directions. Okay, so now it's looking for a device and you guys should see it find it here on screen in just a second. All right, it says Chromecast Ultra found. And as you guys can see on screen, my Chromecast Ultra's name is Chromecast Ultra 4531. So that's the one that we're setting up here. Now, yours is obviously going to have like a, I don't know, some other name, but they all come with this pre-named installed. Now, we can go ahead and change that. I'll make another video for that later. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes here. And it says connecting to the Chromecast Ultra app. Your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Now, as you guys see, the screen changed. It says setup, follow the instructions on the Google Home app. And we've got a set of letters and numbers. It says connected. And on our phone, we see, uh, if you see the code on your TV, are you seeing Z6P? Two. So yes, we are. So that's the one that we're connecting. We're going to go ahead and click on yes. And then I always recommend that you guys go ahead and click on these links so that you can go ahead and know exactly what you're signing up for. But um, I usually go through them once and uh, try to skim over them just so that I get a rough idea of what we can and cannot do. So once you're done with that, you go ahead and click on I agree. 
and then it says help improve Chromecast Ultra, you can automatically share device stats and crash reports to Google to help improve everyone's experience. You can choose no or yes. Um, I usually just go ahead and click on yes. I'm okay with the stuff that I'm putting out there. And it says, where is your device? So you can go ahead and set this up. If you're setting this up in your bedroom, in your dining room, the restroom, wherever it is that you're setting up, you can go ahead and do that. They have a list here, but you can also choose create new. Uh, I'm just going to choose living room. So I'm gonna click on living room and hit next. Now, this is where you connect to your Wi-Fi. I've changed, uh, or I've actually gone back and reset my Wi-Fi name. Uh, because again, you guys don't need to know what my Wi-Fi is, but we also have a list of other Wi-Fi names on here that you guys should not be seeing right now because you don't need to know anybody else's Wi-Fi. But um, I always recommend for you guys to go ahead and pick 5G if you have it. So I'm connected to my Spectrum Wi-Fi 5G, and we're gonna go ahead and click on next. Now it says connecting to Wi-Fi, the Chromecast Ultra is now connecting to the, uh, the Wi-Fi, and you guys can see both the phone and the actual screen that we're hooking up are doing about the same thing. It says almost done. On our phone it says that we are connected. It says it's linking your Chromecast Ultra. Your Chromecast Ultra uses your Google account to personalize your experience. So we're gonna go ahead and click on next here. And it says before using your Google Assistant, here are a few things that you should know. Now I highly recommend you guys go over all this stuff, but um, as I've said, I've already had this before. I've gone through this stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next. Stay in the know, stay up to date with Google's hardware product. And as you guys can see, it just hooked up right now. Stay up to date with Google's hardware product and related feature services and offers, plus receive invitations and all this other crap. You can, uh, it actually says an email will be sent to, you and then it should have your email there. Obviously mine's blocked off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on no on this one. This is not an option that I want. And then it asks you to go ahead if you want to link some of your other services like radio services, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, your other video stuff, which you can actually go ahead and hook up. This will be really easy for you guys, but you can also cast to your Chromecast. But if you wanna go ahead and set it up, you can do your Netflix, your Hulu, uh, all that other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit not now because that's not what we're setting up right now. Uh, your live TV as well, not now. And then it says all done. Here's a review of what you've set up. So as you guys can see, we are all set up. Now I do have uh, Google Stadia as well. Um, I'll, Try to make another video on how to set that up so for right now i'm gonna hit not now and uh, that's pretty much it once you guys are set up as you guys can see on screen right now uh you can go ahead and go to whatever app it is that you choose to watch uh, i think i've got uh i've got my hulu and my netflix and my disney plus on here uh i think we can just go ahead and cast to it so that's why i really like the chromecast ultra as you guys can see most things have a casting button here and you can just go ahead and cast to it now, obviously, I'm not going to play any of these movies because that will definitely be a copyright strike and uh, I do not want to risk that. But I just wanted to show you guys that you can go ahead and uh, set up pretty much anything. Let me go ahead and see if I can connect uh, my Netflix on here real quick. We'll open that up uh, and we will cast it to the TV as well. So that's going to change to our Netflix account. And then we can also go ahead and just do the good old YouTube and uh, just cast that to our screen. So as you guys can see, it works really, really well. It's very easy to set up, but I just wanted to make this in case you guys didn't know how to for some reason or another. If you want to disconnect, you can go ahead and click on that again and hit disconnect and it'll go back to the wallpaper. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Uh, I think I'm going to make some more videos, just some really easy tutorials, how to change names, how to hook up other things. And we're definitely going to hook up our Stadia controller as well so that we can go ahead and play our Stadia games on whichever TV we choose to hook up this Chromecast to. So if you found this helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and we will see you guys on the next video.